Simping on you ask you recommend paying interest in advance and claim deduction before the financial year ends? That's a really good question. Now with the financial year ending on the 30th of June, is it a benefit to pay your interest in advance for the next financial year in this financial year? Now a lot of you must be thinking, what is this guy on about? So let's break down this question. Interest in advance is when you prepay the next year's interest in advance. And that allows you to claim a tax deduction this financial year. And it's usually for fixed loan products. If you're still confused, let me break it down for you. Say you have an investment line of $500,000, the rate is 4.59. And this is of 9th of June, 1, 2, 7, if you want to be exact. And the interest rate for two year fixed rate is 4.59. Interest repayments on that on interest only is $22,950. Now for those of you who have investment properties, you usually declare your tax return for the financial year ending 2022. And say your rent is $500 a week, the rental income for that property will be $26,000 per annum. And naturally, when you're taking out a home loan, for example, a $500,000 loan, the interest is $22,950. And naturally, you can claim a deduction against this profit, so you can pay less tax on the profit you made from the investment property. That is naturally what about 95% of people do, which is you get a home loan, you make a profit from your rental property, and you claim a tax deduction with your accountant. But if you're like me and many of my clients, you have a good accountant, you have a bit of spare cash in the bank, and you hate paying tax, and you wanna take advantage of negative gearing, you get a interest in advance product, and then you prepay the interest in advance in this financial year, and claim the interest in this financial year, along with the interest that you have already been paying, now your interest deduction on the investment property is now doubled, which equals to $45,900. Now if you record on this investment property, which is earning $500,000 per week, the rental income per year is $26,000. But the deduction, because the interest is paid in advance, plus the interest already paid, I've made a negative loss of $19,900. Now you must be thinking, why would you do that and make a loss? Oh, two words, negative gearing. Hypothetically say, if you own a business that made a lot of money or you're a high income owner, over six figures, and you need to have a tax bill of 19,900, and you hate paying the tax bill, but then you think, wait, I paid interest in advance. I can do negative gearing. I'll use my tax loss to offset this, and now I pay zero tax. Obviously, that's not financial advice, and speak to your accountant about it, but to answer your question, simping on you, yes, you can pay interest in advance if you have a bit of spare cash, it's an investment property, and you don't mind on the higher fixed rate. Thank you for the question.